The Cursed is a 2020 Korean drama series, a supernatural horror, written by Yeon Sang-ho. If you're unfamiliar, he's a very prolific writer of sort of action horror stuff like Train to Busan, uh, Peninsula, um, three solid animated films, uh, The King of Pigs, uh, the Fake and Soul Station, as well as Hellbound on Netflix. So when I found out this one was also his, I wanted to check it out. This one is a lot slower than uh, other Korean drama shows I've watched. So that's just a warning for anyone. If you've, you're not really familiar with Korean dramas, maybe don't start with this one. But this one is about an intrepid reporter named... Um, Jin Hee, she is uh, investigating Forest, which is like a social media app. Uh, well, the Forest is the name of the company. Uh, it, it creates the Forest app, which basically is like a social media one like Twitter. And people like to put uh, Forest of Curses. It's like a special thing where you take a photo of someone you don't like and you put a little curse underneath. It's just harmless fun. However, a uh, whistleblower for the company has recently said something about their coding division. And uh, Forest is actually a very dirty company because they have like a little squad of thugs they hire and their vicious president, Jin, who is uh, a very nasty person who likes to watch. And then of course is Todi Lee Hwan, who was like this, the director. So um, she's investigating Forrest and a witness comes forward in the form of this whistleblower. However, she also uh, comes across a mysterious girl named uh, Su Jin, who, uh, you know, she's a very mysterious young girl whose, whose mother was killed uh, and she wants revenge on President Jin as well. So uh, when, um, Two of them team up to sort of discover what's going on. They find out that there is a sort of evil spirit inside of President Jin. And this uh, tech company, this startup company is a lot uh, more engulfed in, in something spiritual. So if I wanted to describe the tone of this series, it'd kind of be like Death Note um, a little bit uh, meets... Uh, maybe a supernatural thriller, you know, lots of shamans in this story, especially a shaman hired by President Jin. Uh, She's really great. Uh, the, the cast does a really good job, especially the actor who plays uh, Lee Hwan. He, he usually does like comedic roles and, and action comedies and stuff like that, but he gets to flex as like a toady. It's really great. Um, the main actress is okay. She's, she's fine. She's just like the intrepid reporter. Doesn't have a lot of chemistry with her husband, who's like a detective, but he's just sort of there. And there's a lot of smaller side characters that don't get much development unless something bad's about to happen. And then they focus on that character way too much and it's a dead giveaway. So it's kind of like if you're watching a war show or something and all of a sudden Private Simmons comes over and he's like, yeah, I'm just I'm just excited to go back because I have like a wife and kids and stuff. And then like that guy gets blasted or something to force emotion. It's kind of, uh, the show does that a lot. The show is also pretty slow in terms of its pacing. It's a full 12 episodes, uh, one hour each. Um, I don't like how at the end of each episode they had like a credits montage and then they give you a sort of preview of the next one. I didn't want to know that. They should have been able to skip that. So after about halfway watching the series, I started not paying attention to the uh, little preview at the end of the episode after the credits. Um, you don't get much payoff um, every episode. It's only every other episode. So something awesome happens at the end of episode one, episode three, and then like, you know, so on. And there's a couple down the road, but it's one of those you have to give your patience and attention to if you want the full payoff. It's not like a thrill a minute with like fist fights and chases every episode, but there, there's some hor horrific, cool stuff going on. And of course, the best scene in the entire series takes place on a train. Sion Yang, Yang Ho just, uh, just, um, he loves his train stuff and anything involving trains is usually, uh, there's even a train thing in Peninsula too. So uh, if you're in the mood for something kind of creepy and sinister and slow and absorbing, then this one's pretty good. It also has a sequel movie that came out in 2021. I'll check that one out next. But uh, that's my thoughts on The Cursed. It's it's pretty a pretty good watch, but it's it's a little slow. So those are my thoughts on that.